Obviously, we started the season off not too great, and um, obviously, it was more competition. The gaffer brought in Joseph Mills uh, from Southampton, and uh, he got his opportunity. The team done amazingly well, but unfortunately for him, he, he got injured, and then I got my opportunity back. So, uh, kind of from then then onwards, you know, we, we started to gel and uh, as a team and started to grind out results. and start to push yourselves up the table so yeah it was pretty amazing when you came back into the side at switch away you pretty much made an instant impact that must have been key for yourself personally to do that yeah of course it was nice always nice to put a decent delivery into the box and it was nice that Gox and, and Piercy got on the end of it the most important most importantly was uh, was getting the three points and and gradually uh, building on that. With Premier League football next season, do you think Reading will have to change the way they play in any way whatsoever, or is it just going to be the same? No, I, I don't think, well, the only one that can answer that is the gaffer, but I'm sure that we'll probably stick to the, the same kind of formation that we have, and I'm sure it's a difficult task for him now over the summertime to, to try and bring, bring in key players that will fit into certain positions and um, you know what that's why he's the manager and he's got that difficult task to, to go and source them players that are going to slot straight into the squad. I guess you look at Norwich and Swansea and Reading when they went up in the previous time and you look at trying to emulate those kind of achievements really. Yeah of course you know I think if we can build on what someone like Swansea or Norwich have done where they've kept pretty much the core of the team and, and added in certain positions then I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah. Who are, you, uh, who are you most looking forward to playing against next season? There's fantastic stadiums and big players. Is there a um, team in general that you're looking no, at? There's, there's not one one team in general because I've, I've obviously played against uh, nearly every every team that is in the Premier League and, and played at all the stadiums as well. But you know, it's a fantastic occasion for all the, the younger lads who have not been there, like Hal, Jem, Piercy, Georgie, and um, you know, we're all really going to be looking forward to it and, and go out and fight and give our, our very best. Yeah. And opportunities to come up against some of your old Leeds teammates as well, that must be something you're looking forward to? Yeah, of course. Well, someone like Aaron Lennon, who's uh, who's small and very quick, you know, you're given the opportunity. But, you know, places like Tottenham, you know, I'm sure when uh, when they come here as well, it'll be, you know, be nice to try and make this, uh, this stadium a bit of a fortress and, you know, to, to go and play against teams away we might be have to be a bit more defensive but you know it's uh, it's something to look forward yeah. to it's, it's a question that no one ever really likes answering but do you do you have any idea when you will hang your boots up or anything like that no I've, I've never thought because although I'm nearly 35 and I've signed an extra year I look after myself and touch wood I've, I've kept away from uh, from injuries and you know as long as I, I keep feeling well and not feeling too much pain when I, I wake up uh, in the morning time then I'll, I'll continue as long as I can. Yeah. Is there any secrets that you've got? Do you uh, eat anything different or drink anything different these days? Anything? Not at all, no. Maybe a pint of Guinness now and then but um, no, it's fine. Post game I take it. Well of course, yeah. <laughs> I'd, be in, uh, I'd be in a lot of trouble otherwise, yeah. yeah. Um, 473 appearances you've made now, I guess you're looking at 500. That's the next landmark. Yeah, I've got more than 500. Obviously, if you want to put the Spanish ones in as well. Oh, right, OK. So, um, yeah, I've got well over 500 games. And if you put the international ones, it's probably getting up on six or, or over six. So, um, no, it's, a, it's not been, not been a, a bad career, but it's obviously fantastic to get back to the Premier League. And, you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the challenge ahead. Yeah, and a chance to add to your Premier League goals tally as well. Yeah, it'd be nice, but... You know, I've always said, you know, it would be nice to get a, a few goals, but the main thing is that we're winning games and getting three points on the board. Mm. And uh, 15 goals for Reading. Uh, I think you scored, was it 28 at Leeds? What? Do you reckon you can catch that? 28 at Leeds? Yeah. No, I scored a hell of a lot more at Leeds. You need to have a, have a look at your... Have a look at you need to get back on the internet again, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you, do you reckon you could kind of beat what you did at Carlisle? You've got 19 there, that must be insight. You can do that, can't you? Yeah, no, that was that was pretty amazing, especially playing from centre-half. Mm. But, um, no, it's, just, it's always nice to score a goal. Even nicer to score in, in the Premier League as well. Yeah. Uh, because it's highlighted more. It's, it's obviously a bigger spread in, in the papers and that. But, you know, it's something that we're all looking forward to. And, um, for me, I've been away a few years, you know, playing in Spain and went up to Sunderland and didn't play there and kind of going around the clubs and ended up at Carlisle before the gaffer took the, gave me the opportunity to come to such a fantastic club like Reading and, uh, you know, it's been two of the best years of my career.
if you're looking forward to that, I mean, you can go to bed early now on Saturday evenings because of the match of the day and everything. You don't have to wait up for the Football League show. That's it. It's amazing. Yeah. No, no. It should be. It should be good. But it's a great challenge ahead, and you know, it should be. It should be uh, brilliant when we all meet back on the the fifth of July. You know getting uh, ready you know, for pre-season and, and I think we go for 10 days away to the Algarve so everyone will be looking forward to it, I'm sure there will be a, a few new players by then but that's, that's what it's all about, having a big squad for the, you know, there's plenty of games to play and you know, it's uh, you know, something that we'll be thoroughly enjoying.